Good morning, this is Robin Bremer again, and I love to do my videos in the morning when it's bright and light, and especially when I'm in my truck because I have light, uh, uh, all sides of me, I have light coming in, and it's a private little place, it's just like a prayer closet for me, I love to pray in my prayer closet because my prayers are a very private thing, I really don't like praying in groups because they're so noisy, I can't hear myself think and I can't focus on God. Anyway, today I want to share with you another revelation that God gave me. That got me excited. Every revelation God gives me gets me excited because it's so exciting. You know what? You need to shut off the TV. You need to shut off the radio. And you need to stop filling your heart and your mind with the things of the world. And you need to get in the Bible. You need to just get hungry and get visiting with Jesus and expect supernatural vis visitations with Jesus and the angels and healing the sick and raising the dead because it's for us today and you know what we're going to be the light of the world because it's going to get so dark here that we're going to be the people that are going to get the water out of the rock when the government takes it from us we're going to get the, be the people that multiply the loaves and the fishes or have the birds come feed us when it gets so bad so if you don't build up your faith now to walk in the supernatural presence and power of God, you're not going to make it then. You're going to you're going to be dying early. You're just going to be fearful like the rest of the world. But that isn't today's message. Today, um, what I wanted to share with you is um, something that God said to me um, about our imagination. And, you know, I was starting to feel my husband was going to go on a trip and be away for two days and I was going to have to stay in an RV in the woods by myself <laughs> and I was getting a little bit freaked out you know because I happened to be watching some videos that were about the Word of God and were about the future but they were a little bit creepy so my mind was dwelling on those things and expecting negative visitations and stuff uh, not not a good thing anyway um, I was getting into fear and I was dwelling on it and God said to me he did not give me my imagination to imagination to imagine evil befalling me to imagine bad things happening to me or to imagine sickness or disease or death or fear or, or any other evil thing my imagination he said is a tool and a weapon it is a tool to cause God to manifest to me everything my heart desires and I thought whoa that's so cool he said the imagination is a tool and it was given to us to the word says that he will give us all he will give us more than we can ask or imagine and our mind is to imagine what awesomeness God can do I imagine people knocking on my door standing in line on my door I have dreams of people standing in my line in, in line in front of my door waiting for me to come out and lay hands on them and heal them I have imagination of going into dead and religious churches and being a comic ventriloquist and God's presence falling so heavy on that dead religious church that those dead dry bones come alive and they start laughing and laughing and laughing with the joy of the Lord. They're rolling on the floor. They're doing everything that they thought was of the devil. They're praising and worshiping God, lifting up their hands, speaking in tongues, rolling on the floor laughing and they are so on fire for God. And that's what I use my imagination for. And that's what you're to use your imagination for. So God said, your imagination is a tool. And he said, every time you start thinking of something that is negative, he says, you are supposed to take captive all your thoughts, strongholds, and high places, and pull them into the obedience of the word. So your confession should be, I take captive every thought, every high thing, and every knowledge that and every high thing that lifts itself against the knowledge of God and bring it into captivity to the word I imagine things that God says I can have and do I'm healed I imagine myself healed and if you don't have, if you have broken legs or crippled you say I imagine myself walking and dancing praise God or help whatever it is use your imagination it's a tool that is there out of the abundance of the heart the mouth speaks so you imagine in your mind what God says about you and then you speak it out of your mouth because you're speaking the word you're agreeing with God and you're bringing it to pass I'm gonna someday be on Sid Roth it's supernatural and on ministering with Patricia King I'm imagining this and it's gonna be 
and I'm prophesying that right now. So I'm prophesying that you're going to walk in the power of the imagination that God gave you in the supernatural. My name is Robin Bremer, and I'm out for today.